Welcome back to the Adventures of Happy Hours. In this episode of our New York to Florida Intracoastal Waterway boat trip, we travel from St. Augustine, Florida to Daytona Beach, Florida. In our last episode, I met up with one of my old buddies and we visited one of St. Augustine's most popular pubs. Needless to say, it was a fun night and the following morning, I was feeling a little under the weather. So this first part of the video doesn't have a whole lot of narrative, but you could enjoy the sights of St. Augustine as I make my way down to Daytona and recoup from the night before. like we might have our daily rainstorm here in Florida shortly. Oh, temperature dropped about 10 degrees since we uh, drove into this storm. It's not raining yet. I think we might actually miss the rain. A1A. A1A. I tell you, the ICW in Florida is so much more relaxing and easier to navigate than the tight, shallow turns in the Carolinas. This here is called Fox Cut and we're just north of Flagler Beach. We're getting to the big city now. It's quite possibly the tallest building I've seen since we left Atlantic City, New Jersey. All right, we're about 24 miles north of Daytona Beach, taking a leisurely scroll, taking a leisurely scroll, taking a leisurely stroll. Skies really cleared up, nice. Storm blew over. We got a little bit of rain before, but not too bad. Enjoying the rest of our day. It's seven miles an hour. Another derelict boat. Pretty good sized power boat too. All right, we're gonna have to ask for an opening of this bridge. Only has 15 feet of clearance. Knox Bridge, vessel happy hours. This is LV Knox Bridge. <clears throat> I'm the vessel northbound. Uh, when's the next opening? I open on request. All right, I'm sorry. I'm the north side of the bridge requesting passage. I will open. Thank you. Nice quick opening bridge. He's already closing the road down.
submerged hazards. I wonder what's in there. I didn't see anything. Maybe it's a boat. Alright, Daytona Beach. Drop anchor somewhere over there by those sailboats. It's supposed to be pretty decent depths over there. All right, we are anchored in Daytona. Daytona Bay, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Halifax River. Uh, we got uh, Caribbean Jacks behind me over there, which I'm going to dinghy over to and uh, meet my friend for dinner in a little bit. Check that out. I don't want to take the boat in there. It just it looks a little too tight with this wind and current. I don't want to risk it. It's, it's only a couple hundred feet away, so I'll take the thing over. And uh, that's it. This is where we're going to be for the night. We are anchored nice in uh, about five, six feet of water. There's only like a one foot tide change in here, which is interesting. So uh, I should be fine. I'm right off the ICW. boats going under the bridge there so uh really convenient there's other sailboats that are docked i mean anchored so uh, i'm out of the way of traffic got a nice view all around it's a sunny day a little breeze keep it cool it was a nice nice day today nice travel day just a little bit of rain nothing uh nothing to write home about so let's see today we traveled seven and a half hours took it easy again today we used 32 and a half gallons of gas we traveled 55 miles uh, average speed of 7.3 miles per hour average miles per gallon is 1.69 that was pretty good not as good as yesterday but good nonetheless our average gallon per hour is 4.33 gallons per hour so uh pretty economical day today when I'm taking my time and I don't have to rush it um, the boat does really well on gas so I uh, need to make up all that money I spent on the ocean crossing to bypass Georgia but here we are Jacks, and I'll be visiting that shortly. So uh, thanks for following along, and I'll see you on the next episode.